Well, that didn't go as I planned. Before I start with what happened here, let's rewind a bit and talk about what we did to prepare for this winter storm in Texas. All right, so wrapping your pipes. We are using Frost King, never used this before, but uh, I'm tired of it getting stupid cold out here and then one of these pipes freezing. So before we just use the uh, styrofoam generic pipe wrap and uh, I want to step it up this winter. So we're using this Frost King heater cable. Didn't seem like it's too hard, but uh, hopefully it'll work out for us. And I won't regret doing this. Instructions. Got this off of Amazon. It shipped in two days. Wasn't a big deal. Came right to our gate. Uh, but if you're interested, I got a link in the description below. Pick one up and uh, we'll see how it works. Uh, I've got a plug on the porch that I'm going to run extension cord to it. It says if you use extension cord, make sure it has that ground prong, the third ground prong. So that's what we got. All right, so I'm just gonna wrap the hot water side because it keeps water in it. And then I'm gonna also wrap the uh, cold side because it also keeps water in it. I was gonna wrap this, but it says only PEX or uh, PVC. And I don't know if this is either, so I'm not gonna do that. Another thing, guys, it says to only use electrical tape because this does get hot. I was going to use zip ties until I read that. Uh, so I'm just going to do what the instructions say for once and use electrical tape to secure the actual heating cable or heating part to the pipe. All right, guys, when you are taping this cable up, it's easy to kind of bunch it up and there's going to be space in between the actual cable and the pipe. Common sense tells me that good contact with the cable and the pipe is what is needed to heat up the water inside. So keep that in mind. And if you need to, just go back over the middle of each section and tape that down. So that way that wire gets up against that pipe. All right, guys. So instructions say that I can lay it flat like that and then tape it up. But do you see that uh, space right there? I'm gonna go back with some electrical tape and flatten that down and make it touch or have more contact so that way it heats it up, but nothing hard, guys. All right, guys, so the next thing we're gonna take care of, house is good, now we're gonna do our chickens, our chicken water. It's a 30 gallon jug. We've uh, put tires around it in the past and the sun has heated up that was black tires and it's kept it from freezing. So we're gonna do that real quick and I'll show you how that's done. All right, guys, for us, this trick works like I said, we're not talking, you know, temperatures of four or five degrees. Last night it was 22 degrees and our water didn't freeze. But what I did was I get a black tire and because it's dark, we all heard in science class, dark colors attract the sun. So the tire heats up during the day and it keeps that temperature of the water just above freezing and the chickens are able to get water. They're still able to access the water cups from underneath here. The little drinkers, let's see if this one comes in. Oh no, she wants to see me. <laughs> uh, something I did do different was I put this on a platform. I didn't have any black spray paint, so I just painted it olive drab, which is still dark. So it's gonna heat up all day as well and then sit right underneath the, just using what we have, nothing fancy. Does it look great? No, but it does work. So keep that in mind. This is tried and true, uh, keeping your chicks warm during a winter storm. We had a heat lamp. But the trick is, is creating that dome. So I'm creating a top for that heat to not escape. And so what we did here, we have a plastic uh, white table that fits perfectly across this brooder. And I put it over the top with the heat lamp shooting underneath. And what that does is creates a ceiling, keeps all that warm air in. If they get too hot, they've got seven and a half feet uh, to get away from, from the heat. But if they do get too cold, they go right back underneath there and they chill out and they've got enough room. There's only 10 in here. So more than enough. I think last time it was 17 degrees and every single one of our three week old chicks, two week old chicks survived. So we didn't lose one, so. Okay, so we just popped by HEB to grab a few things before the storm comes. But I noticed that our lantern that we had used in the last storm, it's not working anymore. 
and I'm gonna hop over, we have a Walmart right next to it, and I'm gonna grab these awesome set of three lanterns that I saw online. All right, so we already have headlamps, but we had this lantern, I don't know, it was a gift from somebody, and it is not working anymore. But look at these awesome lanterns, three of them, $22 here. They will work great for if we lose power in the evening or at night. Something that happened to us in the last winter storms we had was that our lines froze. Hopefully with that heater cable we added, we won't have this problem. But just in case we do, I have these five gallon tanks. We fill them up before the storm. The storm is here. Can you see those clouds? It has gotten so cold. Not as cold as 2021, but still very cold. And I'm so glad we prepared because on day two, even dripping our lines, I think we were running it pretty solid. The, the lines froze. Thankfully, we had those five gallon tanks that I brought into the house and we have the rainwater collection. So we were able to flush toilets and do everything we needed. It just made the days a little bit longer. Made it through the most of the storm to have a power outage unrelated to ERCOT or any of the weather stuff. So we're <laughs> boiling water or warming water on the stove. Oh, cracking. But it's pretty hard. All right, Dash, go. There's definitely some room for improvement. I really like that heater cable, but I want to run it on all the lines we have under the house. And we're just going to add that to the list. We really hope all of you stayed warm during this cold weather. And we look forward to thawing out and getting back to work. <laughs>